Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out a plugin called Panagement from Auburn Sounds. Panagement 2. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So today, this is going to be a very quick look at Auburn Sounds Panagement. What this plugin does is it's a panning tool, and it also has some pretty cool sound design presets. But basically, it simplifies the task of panning instruments in a space, and it also adds reverb. You can add delay as well and adjust a few different things like the width and this little tilt filter here. So let's check it out real quick. I'm going to take instruments that were recorded centered so i've got a solo horn here and a cello ensemble here these were all recorded centered in a room meaning that they are not panned or seated in a proper orchestral seating arrangement um, and if you know anything about sampling or orchestral arrangement you know that the panning and the seating actually adds a ton to realism so if we had all our instruments just centered it would be a kind of muddy and muddled congested and it would not be nearly as realistic so all i'm going to do is use management to pan them and actually place them forward or backwards in a mix with reverb instead of doing it in my doll panning left and right we actually get a much more realistic result by using management let's check it out So you'll notice how when I move this around, it changes the position of the instrument. And also notice that when I place it further back, the reverb is adjusted to compensate for that as well, to compensate for the distance from the microphone that is actually, you know, potentially being recorded by in this virtual space. So we can bring it up close, we can bring it left, right, and then further back, and it will add reverb for that as well. So just a quick listen there to some orchestral instruments and how easy it is in this one plugin to get the panning and the space down with the reverb all inside of one plugin instead of panning within your DAW and then adjusting reverb uh, and sends and stuff like that. So now um, we're going to check it out on a different application with Omnisphere, just a very basic uh, square wave and then I'm going to turn on the management and kind of experiment with the sound design presets. You'll notice there are some LFOs going on and we get a little bit more uh, creative and fun with it.
So just a quick look there, how you can use this to pan instruments in a realistic space, virtual space, but also how you can use it on synths as a sound design tool. Um, this is great for vocals, for drums as well, for pop songwriters to place those sounds inside of a studio space. You don't have to use the sort of large hall that I have been using here just for the orchestral instruments. Um, but you also notice as a sound design tool on the Omnisphere there, uh, it does some really cool things. You can adjust the waveform here and the LFO speed or rate here, um, sync to your tempo or just hit free and you can adjust that there based on the hertz of the LFO. Um, pretty cool tool here, a lot of fun and very useful for a wide variety of genres from orchestral to pop to EDM and trap to kind of uh, use it as a sound design tool or as a realistic placement tool. So that was a quick look at Panagement 2, which is on sale right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.